throughout history, you find stories of people living off of sweet potatoes because of famine or because of a war or whatever. Maybe there's economic downturn and don't have money for food and you grow what you can. One of the top survival foods has got to be sweet potatoes. When you do the research, there's almost no other food that comes close. It's an amazing food, really. And what is so interesting, the more you look into it, the more you find when it comes to the sweet potato. Because there's like 6,500 variants of the sweet potato. And there's all different types of colorations. But the main four is white, yellow, orange, and purple. And typically speaking, the darker the skin, the more antioxidants. And sweet potatoes are full of vitamins and minerals. And what's really interesting is that the sweet potato is more nutritious and it has a lower glycemic index, even though it's sweeter than white potatoes. So pretty interesting. Uh, sweet potatoes, uh, on average, have between two to four grams of protein per cooked cup. It's pretty amazing. It also has about 114 calories per cup or 27 grams of carbohydrates. A lot of energy there. It also contains choline, vitamin C, iron, potassium, uh, vitamin A. A lot of people say, you know, vitamin A is, is essential for the construct of the eyes to work. And, but there's also other parts of the body that needs vitamin A. You have calcium, B3, B5, B6, manganese, and magnesium. Magnesium is something that we all could probably use a little more of. It definitely uh, helps calm, calm us down. And um, it also calms our nerves and our, our muscles and gives our muscles the ability to function properly. Copper is also found in sweet potatoes. And what they found is that there's four to six grams of fiber in the average type or variant of medium-sized sweet potato. It's pretty amazing. And here in the U.S., the orange uh, sweet potato is typically the most common. And what's so cool is that you can actually see the beta carotene. When you look at that orange sweet potato, you're looking at beta carotene. And of course, there's beta carotene in other uh, colors of sweet potatoes, but you can see it right there. Pretty neat stuff. And also the sweet potatoes are regarded as uh, anti-cancer, anti-diabetic, anti-inflammatory uh, by nutritional science. And there's a, a compound that's an antioxidant that's very powerful that's found in sweet potatoes. It's called cyanidin. And it's something that you probably want to consume on a regular basis to help prevent cancer. Uh, sweet potatoes, they belong to the morning glory family. Yes, the morning glory family. And of course, they're, they're root tubers. Uh, for a lot of people in a lot of areas and with the average type of soil, they're fairly easy to grow. And so it just makes for the average population in an average location in the world um, <laughs> kind of a, a no-brainer. It makes like one of the perfect survival foods. Uh, most humans do well eating uh, sweet, you know, sweet potatoes. They don't really have a lot of problems with it at all. And so there's a lot of nutrition there. And you can live off of just sweet potatoes and sweet potatoes alone for a very long period of time. Some people say it's like one of the closest foods for being like a perfect food for humans. And uh, I'd have to say it's, it's up there because, I mean, there's stories of people lasting a very long period of time just eating sweet potatoes. So they're tubers like uh, beets or carrots or parsnip and, uh, or like turnips. And you can eat uh, sweet potatoes raw. Of course, it's not recommended. You probably get an upset stomach, but it's not toxic. Like if you were to eat like a white potato. And that's why it's important to like cook white potatoes uh, because it, it has compounds that need to be broken down by heat. And you don't have those compounds in sweet potatoes. Also... Another really awesome thing with uh, sweet potatoes is that the greens that are above ground, obviously, uh, you can eat those. And you can not only just eat those, but you can eat them raw. Very cool. 
And this is unlike other potatoes. And I'll just use the example again of white potatoes. You can't eat the greens of white potato. Uh, it's toxic no matter how you, you deal with it. You can't even cook it and eat it. It's, it's still toxic. And uh, I was looking at different parts of the world, and, and there was one part that I thought was so cool. There's a, a Papua New Guinea. There's all kinds of examples of, um, of the, the people there consuming a very large amount of sweet potatoes. And um, in various areas of Papua New Guinea, uh, some of the inhabitants, uh, they use uh, sweet potatoes to make up uh, as much as 90% of their diet. Isn't that amazing? I think it's really incredible. And uh, their health is just exceptional. Almost no heart disease. Their blood pressure is very good, if not a little low compared to the average person in the world. And there's just a lot of good stuff there. Uh, cancer is very uh, low in occurrence. There's just a lot of good things. It seems like uh, sweet potatoes is a very protective food for the body. And so I would not only recommend to eat sweet potatoes more often in, in your everyday life, but to have it, you know, in your garden in, in case you needed it, in case there was some kind of a, you know, a horrific, you know, emergency, you know, or if there was famine that you could use it at least to supplement your food source, if not, maybe even have to use it as your main food source. So just wanted to bring this up. Uh, sweet potatoes, a top survival food. Thanks for watching.